we want to evaluate the indefinite integral or determine the antiderivative. We'll determine the antiderivative using a formula typically found in an integration table in the back of a calculus textbook. The most challenging part about using an integration table is to recognize which integration formula to use. So notice how the integrand contains the exponential seven raised to the power of x as well as cotangent squared. So if we look under the trick section of an integration table, we should find an integration formula similar to the one given here where we have the integral of cotangent squared u integrated with respect to u is equal to negative u minus cotangent u plus c. But notice how we also have this exponential as part of our integrand, which means we'll have to perform u substitution or a change of variables before we apply this integration formula. So for our example, we'll let u be equal to the exponential seven raised to the power of x. So if u is equal to seven raised to the power of x, the next step is to find differential u. Differential u, which is equal to the derivative of seven raised to the power of x with respect to x times dx. And here's our derivative formula, just in case we need the review. Notice in this case, this includes the chain rule, which we don't need here because u would be equal to x, and therefore u prime would just be one. So differential u is equal to natural log seven times seven raised to the power of x times dx. Looking at our integrand now, notice how we don't have natural log seven times seven to the x dx, we only have seven to the x times dx. So let's go ahead and solve this for seven to the x dx by dividing both sides by natural log seven. So simplifying, we'd have one over natural log seven differential u is equal to seven to the x dx. And now we'll write our integral in terms of u. So we'll have the integral of seven to the x is u, so here we have cotangent squared u. So right now we have this piece written in terms of u, but now we're left with seven to the x dx, and we know seven to the x dx is equal to one over natural log seven times du. So we'll factor out the fraction, one over natural log seven, and of course we have our differential u. Now notice how the integral fits the integration formula perfectly, so we can easily find our antiderivative in terms of u, and then write that in terms of x. So the antiderivative in terms of u would be one over natural log seven times negative u minus cotangent u, and of course plus c, the constant of integration, and now we'll substitute seven to the x for u. So we have one over natural log seven times the quantity negative seven to the x minus cotangent seven to the x plus c. This is our antiderivative, which means the derivative of this function is equal to the integrand function f of x equals seven to the x cotangent squared seven to the x. I hope you found this helpful.